Salutations, my Koopalings. It's your boy Koopa here, by himself, doing a solo video, back with another crappy ass Dokkan video. <laughs> I mean, I'm kidding. Kinda. It's kind of sort of one, but not really. And this is probably going to be going up before the other two I have in the backlog, because it's honestly really hard to, like, put those videos up, even though people can get entertainment off of the fact that my pools are terrible, but just motivation-wise, when I record this, I never have a single video that's great, but yet when I do everything off-screen, I get everything I want. I'm like a big whining baby <laughs> in the um, Janimba and Gogeta somethings, but yet off camera I pulled duplicate of Janimba, I pulled this cell to where I practically have <laughs> the optimal villain strength team, I pull the cooler I want, and then even with this new Gotenks banner that's out at the time of I'm recording this, a couple stones in I get the Gotenks. It's so crazy how much better my Dokkan luck is, you know, when I'm not recording these, but that's not for real the point of the video, for real the point of the video. I meant to say really. Again, I'm gonna be kind of... Uh, what's what I'm looking for? Not good with my words, but I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> because this is all gonna be in one take, and I'm probably gonna ramble on. It's more of a... A Koopa opens up, because kind of a lot of things personally happened recently. So hopefully I get across this fine. I'm just gonna leave it on the picture of this Gotenks here for a bit. I will do a little bit of summoning later on because I did promise in the video you guys didn't see yet that I would use these tickets, but I'll explain that more then. <laughs> for now, just kind of tab out, chill out, and just listen to me babble on for a couple minutes and make no sense. <laughs> but anyway, so I guess the point of this video here, showing this go tanks, I'm kind of not going to be able to look at this card the same way again. <laughs> There's a lot of history with this card right now, and that's pretty much because at the time of this recording, it's a couple days later, and like, I think not even five, ten minutes after I pulled this card, um, found out my uncle died. <laughs> just, yeah, just died in his sleep. Just apparently when he went to my mom, he was playing about some pain, gave him medication, stayed quiet for the longest time, never woke up life huh <laughs> but and it's kind of weird too as I'm making this video because just recently this year too I lost my my grandmother as well who was a second mom to me pretty much she, she kind of raised me to who I am today along with my my mom mom and that was that was a tearjerker that's still <laughs> deep down even though I'm very composed right now uh, that still gets me to this day, but this one got me for a different reason, and the death itself of the man, I'm very indifferent. I don't like to get too personal with things, but for the record the show, I did not like that man at all. He was very terrible to me during my childhood, and I swear, you know, he, he hated me about as much as I, I hated him. He went out of his way to be like the world's worst person. <laughs> <laughs> in a sense and just really terrible to be around in fact he was mostly the main reason why I would like to kind of hang out at Alex's more is because I just I couldn't deal with him it was like man back in the days when it was like I was bullied at school it was like bullied there and then bullied at home by him it was it was not good no matter what I did uh, but, you know, as the, the years went on, I got older. He calmed down with me a little bit. He still did a lot of just stuff that got you irate, though. You know, cussing up a storm to my mother, calling her, like, the worst words imaginable that siblings shouldn't be saying to each other. He was a very, very spiteful and hateful person. Now, deep down, did I want him to die? I mean, if you asked younger me, I would have been like, yeah, 100%, I would have been throwing a party right now. But, you know, you don't, you don't wish that on people. And to be honest, I'm hoping as his passing, I hope for the best. I hope he's actually up there meeting, like, my grandma and grandpa right now. I'm probably getting a scolding from them from how much of a dick he's been in his life. 
And it's one of those things, too, that, you know, if he wasn't such a dickhead, this death could have probably been avoidable. You know, somebody would have checked on him way earlier, but because he wanted nothing to do with anybody and just was a big eye, little you, you know, by the time we even thought to check on him, because it was around, you know, he gets up normally 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, by the time we, well, my mom went to check on him, it was too late. Stone cold, stiff as a board. But, really, besides the indifference that I'm feeling towards his death in general, I think what it mainly got me just how so sudden it was, and he wasn't that old either, he was only 54. Only about half of his life. And it was cut away. And that just, that scares you. Every time there's like a death involved, especially when it's one so soon, that... That scares you and makes you kind of cherish life more, I guess. I guess the, the point I'm trying to get across, if anything, through my rambling here is, uh, treat every day as it's special, you know? Cherish, you know, what you've got. Because sometimes, you know, you're not going to have the best of days. For example, work today... I hated it. I wanted to die. <laughs> it was just really terrible in terms of like script things I was getting. And it's probably not going to be any better considering my Dogon pulls I'm about to do here in a minute because I guess to give you a gist, I'll, I'll go off of Gotenks for a minute to explain here. One of the filler units I have as a power guy is this Boo right here. And he has a farmable super attack with like his fat boobs. I had like four awakened to SSR with 50% chance to bring this five up to... A nine? As you can still see, it's a five, so none of them worked. So, if that's an indicator for how these little bit of summons I'm gonna do are gonna go, I shouldn't even do this, but I don't know. It might be good to, like, kind of, like, just get this out. Um, but what does that mean exactly as I'm talking here? What does that mean for, like, the little channel I've done with Alex on the occasion, even though Alex or TV, you know, whatever you want to call him. But, um,. Just what does that mean for that? Well, I'm probably going to be a lot less frequent visiting over there. Did that English right? I'm going to do a lot less visits over there. Because, like, the main thing that was holding me back from kind of living as a person or, you know, feeling this house was a home wasn't really due to him. And now that that's gone, that's like... That's like a shackle being unlocked. <laughs> I'm not a prisoner in my own like little space anymore. And in a way it feels it feels great, but also it like seeing that it like scared me. I spent so much in a way I spent so much time over there, you know. I haven't really gotten to just hang out with my mom and it's gotta be a killer on her that she lost her mom and a brother. Oh, granted, we've talked about it together and we're pretty indifferent to it. Or she's pretty a little bit indifferent herself. She was just getting over the shock like me, but... Like, me and her, we're like the only kind of remnants of family left. <laughs> so, in a way, I want to just be here and just... I guess, catch up for lost time of being a prisoner. Just spend what days I can, help her out. Probably learn a couple of things I should have learned when I was, you know, growing up but didn't get the chance to. Just things like that. I really want to now, that doesn't say, like, I'm not going to stop editing videos. It's just going to be harder doing so. We're going to have to think of something on that front, maybe. If we can, like, re-remember how to record videos from his laptop and do the file transfer stuff, I can talk him into, like, you know, moving certain files to an upload site such as uh, I'm I know there's ones out there I'm just derping on the names of those certain sites right now or you know maybe he can come visit me because the house is a lot more like open now <laughs> without him here a lot more welcoming so um, if he doesn't mind the lung cancer <laughs> the joking like of course it's because there's a, quite a bit of smokers here I'm not one of them I'm just Living with it, that secondhand smoke boy, mmm, delicious. But, uh, you know, if you want to come down here, maybe with a flat top, 
and kind of just transfer the files to my laptop physically that way, just hang out, you know, I'll be, I'd be all for it, so, but that was like the main thing why it was easy to do videos when we could do videos, because I was there, you know, helping him, but, you know, now that this is kind of transpired, I don't really need that, and I hate to say I was using an escape, but I was, <laughs> I, I, I really was, and that was, you know, not right of me. I shouldn't really have abandoned my mother here with him, but, and then she probably goes on to say that that was best for me to do anyway, and that's why she didn't, didn't mind it as much. Even then, like, just to kind of submit how much of a pure dick he was, when me and mom was talking, it was like, she said... Like, having to live with that was pure hell, and it's like, if I had to put that out with so many more years, it would have made me, you know, want to die. And I was, you know, it was like, so I wasn't the only one thinking that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not here to, like, bust his balls or, you know, belittle the dead. May he still rest in peace. Any life like that was taken away too soon. But if you, if you personally know the man, there's not a lot. To like say about him to the point that I think honestly there's not even gonna be a funeral for him because he had no other family and he's probably also just gonna get cremated <laughs> so that's that's quite a, a bit to say there so but yeah it's more so that just this whole experience and now that I look at this go town <laughs> go ten go tanks <laughs> It's late, guys. It's like 2 a.m. when I'm filming this, and I was a little bit spacey on sleep today because allergies have been acting up. Because winter, that time of year, though I love it when Florida gets this cold because I don't need to worry about the heat and I can, like, actually live in my room without having a million fans on. I actually have no fans on right now, so I don't need the wind of the fan blowing into the mic as I'm talking, so that's great. But... Again, if you got anything from this little rambling I was doing, just just share his life and then learn from my deceased uncle. Don't don't be a, a dick. <laughs> don't don't be a dick because you know we're all human beings and we really should just like love one another and be decent people. Because then you end up like that, and then it's like now that he's gone, it's more like good riddance and somber i mean no i mean it was kind of somber that he passes and you know death is always a serious thing but it didn't like well me personally it didn't hit me in the heart when like grandma left that was like heartbreaking and still heartbreaking to this day but oh <sighs> and i hope i don't sound like him. i hope anyone hearing this video thank you for listening to my rambling by the way but i hope i don't come off like a huge prick by like saying all of this. My friend Robert, I kind of said the same thing. If I was like a jerk for kind of feeling the way that I felt, as I was trying to like kind of confirm what I was feeling. But he said not to feel guilty about that because he, he, knew, he knows what that man kind of put me and everybody through. So, but again, if there was any decency in that man, I didn't see it. But again, I'm not going to damn him, may he, may he rest in peace, and hopefully if there's any type of revelation as he goes wherever he's going, he becomes a better person for it if there is some sort of afterlight. Sorry for the really somber note, <laughs> as we're just staring here at a picture of Gotenks going, oh yeah, I'm getting ready for this, and isn't it kind of creepy that I got this card, and I think he called himself the Grim Reaper of Justice, wasn't that kind of a nickname for him? I think he called himself that in the dub, I'm not sure, but still, it's very, very weird, so thank you for even listening to my almost about 15 minute rambling so let's go on and do some little summons for you guys just because I promised in a video that wasn't released yet and also I have these uh, tickets here to just kind of burn so originally when I did promise these summons I thought we were going to get a lot more tickets than we did but we didn't <laughs> so that's a thing <laughs> uh boy where do I I'm sorry, it's just coming from that deep topic to this, it's kind of like I'm trying to get 
into the groove of just Dokkan talk now. <laughs> but this is probably not going to be a very long summoning video. Just a couple of singles and multis from here. And then one just group one if you guys want to participate. And then... Excuse me. Now I'm, now I'm invoking the inner RTB of just burping the recording. <laughs> that was a slight burp. You guys probably didn't catch that. But as a bonus, there's this little banner that I kind of want to pull from. But not go on out on because Christmas is up and there might be something special for Christmas. And also in terms of like videos on my end since I'm probably going to be doing a couple more solo projects for the channel. I had originally wanted to just do Sonic Adventure 2 because I have that on my computer. And I'm just going to go and play through that like how RTV played through um, Max Payne. But I think I'm going to save that until the next year. But what's coming up for me... There's a lot of more crappy mobile game stuff, yay! Because when <laughs> when something when this gets like a Christmas thing, I'm probably gonna come on here and do that. And then there's also two other games that I want to do if they have a Christmas thing: Fire Emblem, which is kind of up in the air. If they they've been good about that, so I'm probably going to do something on that. Which, by the way, I have a little bit of stigma towards that game because there was like an eight percent banner, and those who played Fire Emblem heroes could probably vouch for me on this. There was an 8% banner that promised all the 5 stars you can get. Yeah, I only came out with one, and the banner took away all my orbs, telling me the screw off of like a 1050 to 11%. I didn't even get another one after that. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a thing, and I'm still a little peeved off by that, but I've saved up again, and I got about like 80-ish on that. Probably will have 100 by the time that Christmassy banner comes out on it. And actually... Since now I've moved to my emulator and it plays a little bit better, and you'll know what I mean by a little bit better in a moment, I was thinking about doing a little bit of a Bleach showcase video of the Bleach mobile game, Bray Souls, because it's actually pretty fun, but my god is it not well optimized. <laughs> and let me explain what I mean by that. So I originally had re-downloaded it back on this game, and I'm not going to spoil too much, because I actually got a unit on there I was really happy with out of just kind of casually booting it up and single summoning of all things. So I was playing the game again and they have a Christmas thing like out right now at the time of this. So I'm like maybe I can just daily kind of gribe a little bit of spirit orbs. Grind? I said grind right? Or did I say gribe? Probably said gribe. I hate my tongue sometimes. <laughs> but grind a little bit of spirit orbs but oh my gosh I don't know what it is but on the pad... It like kept crashing and then it got to the point where it tried to load the game but kept rebooting and saying download failed returning to the home screen so I had to move it to the emulator and then when I first had it on the emulator the graphics were glitching up to the point where specials showed up they were all like black as if they were shadows of the night and um but I tweaked some settings and that fixed though sometimes the models fully disappear like, I think at first, just to spoil who my team is right now, and hopefully I'm pronouncing these names right, Stark, Ukuyor, and Harlebel, I'm going to say. Uh, they are Espadas, rank 1, 4, and 3, respectively. But, um, yeah, sometimes their models just, like, flat out disappear, and all that's left is their aura, which is kind of funny. But also, that game kept crashing and like halting on loading screens and it's just a pain to grind up the spirit orbs because of that like i was trying to get a good like 750 just to you know do two multis and like a, a batch of singles but it's like gosh i don't know if i want to do it i'll still probably try it i'll let you guys know if that ends up falling falling out but uh, that's the two or three, I should say, because Dogon main videos I'm doing, and again, sorry if I feel like I'm turning more of this into a mobile channel, trust me, that's not the intent, it's just these videos are really easy, and again, I've kind of been addicted on mobile games, and I used to be the biggest crapper of mobile games. I used to just dismiss them like they were garbage, but you know what, we should get into the summons now. It's almost 20 minutes of me just rambling and you guys staring at a screen. I'm sorry for that. So just to explain, there was a couple of tickets on this left over that I got from doing the Gogeta and Janimba summons. They're gone now. Now there's this banner, but I already got him, so I'm done. And they actually improved this banner, too, by adding these two guys. So if you want to do some summons on this, go ahead. But do keep in mind, if you're playing the game, safe Christmas, because they might be something dope during that. 
But, uh, so I did get a couple of tickets. I've hold off until now, because these banners are going to go away pretty soonish, and I don't think we're going to get any more tickets. So, again, I'm going to do two singles, two multis on this Gen Nimbo one, and just a random single on this one. Now, I'm not going to bother looking at the units up here, because I know I'm not going to get any of these guys. But in terms of what I would want from here, and this banner is a little bit different, because as you're about to see when it loads... Look at all those dots. It has every featured, like, Dokkan unit. But I'll just go through all of them briefly. Wouldn't mind a Dupa Janimba. Would love that guy. Would love a Dupa Cooler. Would love to actually have him. Would love a Dupa So. Don't really care for another Dupa of that guy. I'd be alright with him. Would love to have him. I'd be cool with him, because I'd have a bunch of Kid Boo, like... S.A. Father sitting there for him. <laughs> would be alright uh, all with him. Would love him. Uh, would be okay with the dupe. Don't really want him. Would be okay with the dupe. Could 100% him if I got a dupe of that. Don't really want him. Don't really want him. Him. Hmm. Same for him. Hmm. No Broly. No of that guy. I'd be okay with him. I don't really want him. Definitely don't want that Broly. That Broly's really outdated. Now, this Kid Boo, I'd actually be really satisfied with. Because he'd be going right on my Extreme Fist team. And that Cell, I don't really care for. But a Frieza Duke would be nice. But I think the goal here is, with the little amount of tickets I have, to have at least one SSR. And hopefully, it's un if it's unfeatured, even if it is like an unfeatured one, it's one that I don't have. Because you can get a lot of units here, even the ones that aren't featured. No. LRs, though. I should point that out. Bandai's not that nice. I mean, they weren't even nice because I thought we were going to get, like, tickets daily. And I even thought we were going to get, like, a guaranteed SSR one. But we didn't. But I've ranted enough. 22 minutes. My gosh. I'm sorry, guys. Let's do this right now. Let's just cut to the... Let's cut to the single. <coughs> sorry that I had a cough there. While that's loading up, I'm going to take a drink. Sorry. Uh, get my throat nice and better. Alright, so I should mention this is guaranteed SR or above. So at the most, we're probably going to get a bunch of Baba points. Because again, because I'm recording, I'm cursing these summons to not be anything good. So let's get those sweet Baba points, guys. And every time I record for these summons, the game goes away slow, too. That's just kind of the bad thing. Eh, it's a <laughs> Baba points? You shouldn't have. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do the multi. And again, I'm expecting nothing from these. If I come out with a 1SSR, that in itself is a success. But again, I'm expecting nothing but the finest of trash, considering how my off-screen look has been. And only two pods. Yeah, these are going to be nothing but the finest of SR Baba points. Mwah. That's why you should definitely put your money into this game. Because you will always get sweet, sweet disappointment. It's Real Life Simulator 2017. Almost 2018. Can you believe that year's almost passed? <laughs> but alright. Let's see. We got Baba Point. We got Baba Points. We got Baba Points again. The same breed of Baba Points too. Not bad. We also have... Oh, I got chipped out of a card again, guys. I'm only going to get four out of this. Well, at least it was free. And actually not Baba Points, because I'm going to feed that cell into another cell, because I want to Dokkan Awaken him at least to have that card. So, hey, something usable. Kind of. But alright, now with that done, this single one is going to be our group something. So, it's a group something... It's going to be something trash. <laughs> Got him. Group summon is what I meant to say. So, everybody, if you still have tickets left over, have a couple stones you were going to burn on uh, Go Tanks, you can go ahead, hold down with me right now. I will count down, we will let go, and you can compare our trash together. So, three, two, one, fire it off. <sighs> And again, I'm totally not original. I'm just stealing this from the more prominent and more popular Dokkan YouTubers. So, let's see our brand of Baba Points, shall we? And today's brand of Baba Points is Trunks. 
So you can go ahead and tell me what kind of Baba points you got down in the comments or like, Oh my goodness, I got the Super Saiyan 3 Gel Tanks on the first try. <laughs> but then again, I, I got him in pretty, pretty good. And see, as we can see, the Gogeta one is gone now. So yeah, they clearly don't have any intentions of giving any more tickets since that's disappeared. So we're going to do our very last single on Janimba. And again, I say this, if I probably did these off screen, I probably would have gotten something decent. But because I'm sharing this with you all, I'm going to get nothing. Because I can never have a really good Dokkan video. That was almost seven pods. I really wanted him to stay based there. That would have been beautiful. But unfortunately, this is probably going to be just an SR, even though there were so many pods. Ready for disappointment in 3, 2, 1. Disappointment. Yeah. That's the brand of disappointment I like to see. More Baba Points trunks for you and me. Alright, final tickets. Sad to see these go. Sad to see these were just burning a hole on the screen just to get nothing but trash. But then again, I got the go tanks really quick. And I got what I wanted when Janimba was here, so... Disappointed? Yes. Mad? Not really. I need more Baba points anyway. I'm kind of running low on those. Speaking of Baba, even though this has nothing to do with Baba Born Dokkan, that LR Vegito blue meme, huh? It's dead now. He's nope. coming out as a free play of all things. Free to play card. We will have to see how that, I guess, works out. Maybe he will be the best free to play LR. I know it's the only type of LR that this guy is ever getting because I'm never going to pull one. Unlike Robert, who can get two. <laughs> So let's just scroll through again our brands of Baba points. I'll take that trunks because I can up the SA of uh Ooh, you know what? I was I said I was mad about this man, but you know what? I'll take him. <laughs> Though then again, you know, he's a very not good villain for GT standards. <laughs> he's very blah, but as a pool. Top notch, Dokkan. Alright. I will definitely take that Super 17 because he is the extreme 120% leader. Granted, I don't really have <laughs> an extreme AGL team to use. But hey, it gives me more motivations to up those androids to LR, actually. So you know what? We'll take it. That was. It's kind of sad that this was the best pull of all of my freaking videos <laughs> that I've shown off, and this one wasn't even a wasn't even an actual like summon video. It was just more of a me talking about life. So that was really good. I'm actually rather stoked about that. I mean, I said it was me about that 17, but you know, 120% leader for free, and I thought I was just gonna get nothing but Baba points. Great. All right, so. Now I'm going to get a couple of the other Kai's, because I guess now I need some for that Super 17 if I'm going to use them. Oh, but now that means I need to play the Super 17 event, and that event's kind of annoying. <laughs> Not as annoying as Janimba, but it's just he has like a Healy Factor thing. So I'm going to just do one multi on this. I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to save what stones I have for the Christmas Manor, because this one will always like come back around again. But just to kind of explain what strength units I want, this hit would make me the happiest man in the world because I can just throw him on my extreme STR and he'd be great. Though, those of you who are watching, should this guy have actually been Frost? You know, non-existent, non-canon man. <laughs> because he's erased. I think he would have just linked better with the villain's team and he's more of a villain than Hit. I mean, granted, Hit's an assassin, but I don't really see him as a villain. Make of that what you will. Cobb is good, but I don't have super strength, so he'd be kind of useless, kind of like the little kid Gohan that I have. I don't have super int, so he's kind of useless. This Goku would be great, again, for super STR, but I don't really have the makings of that. I already have that Vegeta, so I really don't want him. That Gohan would be nice to have. I already have that 18, but Dupes would be okay. I don't want to see this Raditz. This Raditz is a free control. And this is the Boo I was talking about that I have plenty of, but I guess they're... Uh, that was more of a hiccup than a burp. Just want to let you guys know that. But, um, 
I guess those guys will still sit there until I pull one of the other boos. And that boo I don't need because I've already, like, awakened him and everything. And then other off-banner units that aren't featured here that I know are on here that I really love to get. Meta Real, though, because he's a pretty good tank for Extreme. Regular 17. Hey, we saw Super. Can we get the regular? Because he's a really good Orb Changer for Extreme Strength. I'm not even going to mention LR Roly because we're not going to get that man, like, for real. Let's be realistic, guys. <laughs> I can't pull LRs. You know that. You saw Goku Black. <laughs> you saw that arc. But, um... Who else? Because I know there was a couple more. Gosh, I'm derping so hard. I know there was one more that I wanted to mention, and I feel so bad that I'm forgetting him right now. Ugh. Oh, well. We'll just do our multi right now. Get the two Elder Kais, because that's all we're going to get. Some Baba points and Elder Kais. Zamasu. How could I forget that, man? He's like my one of my favorite dudes in Super... Perky on the left, that's better than the right. Rainbow, can it stay base? Ooh, we're at least getting one SSR. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take that to the bank. Even if it's kind of a SSR. What is it? Thank you, Dragon Balls. Okay, grant my wish. I won't hit. Hit right here. That's trash suit, Gohan. That's, that's not. I do love that nickname for him that the Dokkan YouTubers have made up for him, Trash Suit Gohan. It's very fitting. Though knowing me with this multi, we're getting the stupid Raditz. And I'm going to be so just done with this game. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's good. But I don't have Goku, so I can't use him. I just got through saying I can't use this man. Because <laughs> he's the super uh, strength buffer. I wanted hit because he was the extreme strength buffer. Still, great pool for only doing it once. So you know what? I'll take him. I'll throw him in the back. Maybe one day I'll pull that Goku and then I can run him. Who knows? I mean, he comes back quite a bit. And that might not be the only... SSR, but honestly, with that being such a good pool, that probably is. Though, honestly, <laughs> I didn't intend this to be like a serious summon video. And this is probably one of the better ones that I've had. <laughs> Just because of the Super 17 and that guy. Those are two pretty good quality cards. Granted, I really don't have the means of running either or. I need a couple more of that Bojack so I can feed into the other one, so I'll definitely take that too. But, wow. Oh, that went by fast. Hi. <laughs> and our last card is going to be Goten Black <laughs> from the future. I'm kidding. Time to get serious. We already got... Oh, there's one more still? Ah, but it's just that it's 19. Too late, 19. You couldn't absorb my luck because it already shined through. <laughs> So, not bad. We're getting two other guys, and we got, like, the cob of first try. Ah, too bad the the grindable Kaba isn't here anymore. You could, like, Dokkan Awaken him, and you can feed into that one and get him up to SA-10. But again, I'll take him. Even though, unfortunately, I don't have his team like the kid Gohan. But... It's a buffer unit. It was probably one of the better ones to get. So overall, this was a successful Go Dokkan video. And I just bullshit yap for most of the time. So you know what? I'm satisfied. I'm really happy with those results, guys. So that's all you need to do. Remember, when you go to pull on your mobile games, just sit around for about like 30 minutes and BS about something completely different, you know?